So how did two airsoft guns make it inside a classroom? That is the question parents at E.T. Wren Middle School are asking school officials after their daughter was hurt on Friday. Edgewood ISD police say that two students are in trouble, one of them even facing criminal charges. Alicia Barrera spoke with the mother of the victim who says this is a learning opportunity for parents and students alike. On Friday, December 3rd, a sixth grader at E.T. Wren Middle School was in art class when she felt a pain. One of her friends helped her into a seat. Um, she said at first it felt like a little pinch, but then it went into a throbbing. Edgewood ISD police say a classmate brought these two airsoft guns to school. He was showing them off to a, a, another student. The other student uh, that was being shown the guns uh, uh, made the uh, inappropriate or wrong decision of take one of the guns out and uh, 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 shot it underneath the desk. One of her classmates found a small pellet. The pellet left a red mark on the victim's back right thigh. Both students were removed from the classroom and now face disciplinary actions at school. But the student who shot the plastic pellet also has legal consequences to deal with. Charges were uh, were pursued and the student was taken into custody and delivered to the Bear County Juvenile Detention Center. A decision by the victim's mother intended to send a message to all students. Play guns, real guns, shooting people, it's nothing to play about. Still, questions remain. Why they did that to her and why they had this gun at school and how they had this gun at school. They were not trying to aim at anybody specifically. However, their actions were still reckless. And, and those are the things that we need to talk to our kids about. The victim hasn't returned to class since the incident because she's still a bit shaken up. And now her mom has to decide if she'll transfer her to a different campus. But here's the thing, the school district wouldn't provide transportation to the new school, which only makes the decision on what to do next even harder for the family. Reporting Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.